I'm so happy that I have hair. Being bald headed is fun and all until it's not. I want all three. Ooh, Ashley. Hey, ooh, Ashley. Hey. Hey y'all, it's your girl Shay Shay back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. As you can see by the title of this video today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I got these passion twists on my TWA, okay? Now, I did forget to record a portion with me with my TWA, but in the video, y'all will see how short my hair is, less than an inch, y'all. It's less than an inch. And I will pop up a picture just for a little bit of reference too, because your girl has been struggling. So if you do have a short TWA, a short little afro, and you wanna put some passion twists on your hair, to lengthen that thing out because y'all being bald headed is fun and all until it's not i needed some length i want to whip my hair too i want to whip my hair back and forth I've had these in for a couple days and they have not came out. My method is the truth. It is really good. And if you do want to see how to get these passion twists in your hair, in your short TWA, keep on watching. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Ashley. I do post hair, lifestyle, content videos, also piercing and tattoo videos. If that interests you, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below to join the family. And without further ado, let's hop right on into this video. Hey y'all. So as you can see, I have made a lot of progress. Like I've basically done my entire head and y'all see the pink y'all see the pink i just have these two little sections up here it's basically four pieces i did do the rubber band method so i didn't pre-section my entire head out and part it and put the rubber bands in i basically parted out row by row and just did the rubber bands for each row and then basically left these just to show y'all what was up so what you'll need is a crochet latch needle. If you buy like the little crochet here on Amazon, and I think if you buy it from the Beauty Supply, you'll get one of these. Um, you probably already have one. Some rubber bands, some type of like gel. I'm using the Napstar Retwist Gel. If y'all didn't know, I did used to have locks, so that is why I have this. Yeah, I will be starting my next set soon, so stay tuned for the new lock content for my journey number two. Some clips, a comb. This one has hair all in it, but yeah, a comb. And then obviously you're gonna need your passion twist hair. I will link everything down below so y'all can have it all. Everything is from Amazon, so it will be on my Amazon storefront. I'll link everything down below for you guys so it can be super easy and convenient. Here is the pink hair. So what you're gonna do is make sure you pre-section out your hair with the rubber bands. That is gonna be the easiest way if you have short hair like mine. Your girl has like an inch of hair basically. So I do wanna let y'all know that I left hair out because I like to slay and lay my baby hairs. I wish I would left more out on this side. Y'all already know I'm about to lay them things. So I'm actually gonna pull out a little bit more right here because I just feel like I don't have enough. Yeah, I like to be dramatic with my baby hairs. I need to tone it down a little bit. It just happens the way it happens. I want to let y'all know I only wrap the rubber bands around four times. Five times on some of the pieces where they were a little bit loose and I just wanted them to be a little bit more slick. Don't wrap it around too many times because you don't want your hair to fall out. It's like you're probably doing this because your hair is super short and you're maybe wanting it to grow or whatever. But like, don't do it too tight. You're going to take your little passion Swiss hair, separate it like that. I just like to lay it down on my lap just to like have it ready. You're gonna put your crochet latch hook under the section like so. And then you're gonna take your crochet piece. I just kind of like to spread it in my finger like this and then latch it on, close the hook, pull it through. And I know a lot of people will like pull this whole thing through. Don't do that, okay? only pull through one side this is gonna help your hair like just attach a lot better and of course as soon as i get on camera i want to act all stupid but yeah just try to like line them up as best as you can and now what you're gonna do is grab this piece and braid it this is just gonna keep it intact so you're gonna do like a three strand braid one over the other it's a little bit hard to grip that piece but you'll get the hang of it it's hard but it's okay and just know like i'm not no hairstylist so my hair isn't like super crispy but i rather my hair like look the way it looks <laughs> and not spend 200 dollars to have someone install it because i don't even keep my hairstyles up for that long anyway so it is what it is but yeah braid it down as much as you can and then when you're done with that, you just want to start twisting. It's honestly that simple. I'm going to keep showing y'all on these remaining three pieces just so you can get the hang of it. Because I know 
it could be a little bit confusing but i'm here for y'all and i'm going to show you how to do it i'm so happy to be done with these i started at like nine something it is now 1 11 oh my gosh it's 1 11 a.m i like pop it up on the screen right here angel numbers really be hitting your girl um i don't know i was supposed to be doing this a little bit earlier oh and one thing i've learned i'm like so all over the place right now but one thing i've learned is like you can like bite it and then pull it down <laughs> i look so crazy like doing this actually on camera But it makes it so much easier to like braid down the ends because the hair is long. And y'all probably don't know what your girl's saying. But let's also point out the fact that I have on a whole two chain shirt. Like, I'm be fresh as hell yeah. the fans watch. what are we going through? All right, we're gonna repeat that three more times. Take the passion twist hair and separate it. Sorry, I separated that like kind of off camera. Take your crochet hook. Basically, place it like under the rubber band. Take your passion twist hair in your hand and loop it on. Close your latch hook, pull it through. Only pull one side of the hair through. Now you're just gonna line them up. And now start braiding. It is so hard to do this because the piece of hair is so tiny, but just grip it as much as you can and braid it down as far as you can. And this just is gonna ensure like that it lasts a little bit longer because I know it can be hard for your hair to like actually grip onto anything. So <laughs> yeah, this is like to help with that. And honestly, it's okay if it's not perfect. Like, perfection is not something that we need to strive for, okay? As long as it looks decent and looks cute, like, it is what it is. Like, people still gonna tell me I look cute. Like, and I know I'm gonna look cute. So, does it really matter if it's, like, perfect? No. <laughs> like, it really doesn't. So I'm just going to repeat that so I can show you all that two more times over here. So here's the passion twist hair. I like to separate at the top just to prevent like that frizzy stuff from happening. It's fine if that does happen, but it's easier if you separate it from the top and then work your way down and less frizziness will happen. Take your crochet needle, place it under your part and under your rubber band and try to get it like in the middle so it just has like the best foundation possible you're gonna spread it like that put it onto your latch hook close it and now pull it through you're only gonna pull through one side of the hair so you have two pieces on each side now just make sure they're leveled and we're gonna start braiding This is honestly the hardest part is just trying to like catch a hold of your hair and obviously depending on the length of your hair this might not work so you could just start twisting it down if you have to but if your hair is about an inch like mine you should be able to grip it enough to like do a little braid. Okay and once you run out of braid you literally just start two strand twisting and you can do it kind of loosely or you can do it tight but the way that passion twists are set up they're gonna kind of become loose anyway so there's no need to be trying to do it super tight because passion twists will loosen up on their own anyway and yeah we can get into the nails i always get into the nails yeah these were for pride month i think they're so cute they're like a pastel cow print with like the darker color on top being the cow print yeah oh my gosh do you see how my hair is like sticking up we gonna make it look cute trust just trust trust the process last one so take your passion twist hair and the thing i love about this is it's pre-sectioned for you already separate from the top to cause the least amount of frizz then you're gonna take your crochet needle put it right under the rubber band try to get it in the middle 
Grab your passion twist hair, stretch it like that. Put it onto your latch hook. Close the latch hook, pull it through. And only pull through one side of the hair so you have an equal amount on both sides. Now you're just gonna line them up and we're gonna start braiding it down. I understand why people like require you to have like at least three to four inches of hair because this like hurts your fingers. Like I would not be doing this on anybody else. Like I do it for myself because obviously I'm not trying to spend money. Like I could just go on Amazon, buy the hair, and do it myself. But like it takes a minute too. So and I know the takedown is gonna be so amazing because and especially the way that I did it because I didn't fully loop it through and create a knot. It's gonna be so easy to just take it down and pull the hair through the hole. Like. I can't wait. And if y'all did hear any like fireworks or anything, it is the 4th of July. It's 4th of July. I'm ready to pop these firecrackers. Don't pop them on me. What the police say? I don't police right there. So they're out there popping firecrackers and stuff. So yeah. But look at it. Like, doesn't it look so good? I'm so excited. Like, I really can't wait to actually lay my edges down and everything because it's going to look so freaking good. I'm so happy that I have hair. Here we are back in the business with some hair that I can just wake up with and go. Period. And when I lay my edges, y'all won't be able to talk to me. <laughs> Anyways, yes! You have made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. Since you have made it here, please comment down below this emoji. Just know you are a real one for making it all the way through. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below to join the family. And let me know what y'all want to see on my channel before I do start my locks. And even when I do, what other content do y'all want to see? Like piercing content, lifestyle content, tattoo content, because your girl is really tatted now, okay? I started off this year with like two tattoos and just know I got a lot more than that so tattoo tour could be coming just let me know what y'all want to see down below I really want to hear y'all input but like I said without further ado I'll see you in the next video bye and this is going to be a bonus for y'all who stuck around you a real one for sticking around here period I've had these passion twists in for a few days but I just want them to be short <laughs> I don't want them to be this long so it's a bonus for those of y'all who got to stick around. This is how long they are. They're like below the boob. I just want them to be short because short hair just suits me better. So I'm gonna get my scissors and show y'all because I want to. I don't want to cut them too short, but I just personally feel like short hair suits me so much better. So yeah. I already like it better. Just chopped off inches. <laughs> the way I'm struggling right now is just not even funny. The hard part about doing this to your passion twist is trying to make sure they get the same length because I'm not trying to have one side be longer. Honestly, I did a good job, period. Honestly, y'all can't tell me that that's not even. Her. short passion twist on me is just like cuter like i honestly instantly feel so much better i could cut them even shorter but i think i'm gonna leave them right here y'all can't tell me nothing y'all can't tell me nothing period period all right bye <laughs> Did it?